substance. And I must say, at least the three uh, candidates that we've spoken about, I, I read in their manifesto at least, they've, they talked quite a bit about private sector participation. But uh, Kelechiku, yes. what do you have to say about Pito B's uh, manifesto? Do, does it really, what does it really capture for you? The there are clear ways on how he wants to do some of these things. Um, if we could like just pick them um, one at a time, because I will not remember all, but okay, let me start with them, like strengths. So in terms of infrastructure, transport infrastructure, I know that there are some impracticabilities, like in terms of us building gas pipelines, like it's so difficult. See the AKK pipeline. I think uh, there was a Guardian NG article last year or this year saying that the Chinese had pulled funding off that project and they were supposed to bring about 85% of the funding. Um, pipelines are very difficult to build and very expensive to build. Right? So, how do we raise enough funding to like, create those pipeline infrastructure? Um, there's some things he says. So, he says, first of all, we would build power plants at source, so close to where we are producing gas, so that we plug them directly into the pipeline. And that would um, at least cut costs. So you know that, that it's about the template, the pricing template for power is $2.50 around or thereabouts for, for gas for gas inputs. And, and the gas prices are trending higher at the moment due to the Russia-Ukraine crisis. And he's saying, okay, so can we eliminate some of the costs, like the transportation costs, by creating embedded power generation plants at source? There's 